think it's time. Is you had a, a couple big weeks, and I imagine you want to keep it going. But as you evaluate Ohio State, you know they've got some guys that I think are kind of considered among the best cover guys in, in the country. Just what do you see, and maybe the way that they move their defensive back pieces around to try and you know kind of handle different matchups, and, and what do you think you can kind of exploit out of that? Um, I mean, yes, like watching film on Ohio State, you know, they run a lot of defenses, a lot of coverages. You know, they got a lot of really great players, but, you know, we're, we got a good coaching staff and they're dialing up players for us to, you know, beat these coverages. And I'm, you know, just really excited for this opportunity Saturday. Hi, Frank Jamblad, I'm Paul Gable. I know, Ty, you've talked a lot about, uh, you know, gaining a chemistry with Mike during the week in practice, you know, just everything builds into the game. Um, you know, in terms of Mike, he didn't have a chance to play in like consecutive games, like three or four in a row um, last year at any point in time. I mean, how much just having those games do you feel like you guys are building in terms of chemistry and finding each other just in terms of having those consecutive games? Oh, I mean, you know, just like as the weeks go on, you get better chemistry, you get better, you know, just better, you get better chemistry just going, just having more practices together, playing more together. And that's just how it is. And, you know, I feel I feel really great about Mike, you know, just being able to get, we get more practices in versus, you know, last year in the past couple of years. And Mike, he's getting better every week. All right, Paul, then ready. Hey, Ty, to, to kind of follow up on that, we all knew the physical skill set that, that Mike had. How has he progressed as far as the mental side of the game goes this season? Oh, um, I mean, he just progressed a lot as a quarterback, just – learning the game, you know, learning the coverages, just like the hard part that, you know, a lot of guys don't figure out. He's, he's you know, I mean, everybody can get better, but he's he's dialing it out really good, you know, just learning where guys gonna going to be in coverages and learning how to beat coverages. That's just the part that he's really gotten great at. All right, Rabbi then, Dylan Wallace. Hey, Ty. Uh, so the other day, Coach said uh, that you guys keep earmuffs on but he said the 21-point uh, spread would, I think in his words, get addressed. Um, can you kind of just tell us what his thoughts were and is that motivation or how are you guys going to approach that? Um, I mean, you know, we're just excited for this opportunity, the top 10 matchup. We're just, you know, getting better every day and just ready for game day. You just block everything out that you hear. All right, All right Dylan Wallace, then Stefan. Hey, Ty, I guess with – Sort of the, a lot of success you've been having lately the last few games. I mean, do you expect maybe to see potential double teams in the future? And kind of if so, I mean, do you, do you talk to maybe Coach Hurt or anything about how to sort of handle that or kind of break break through that? Um, I mean, the coaches, they're going to, you know, put us as the offense in a good good opportunity to beat whatever the defense is throwing at us, and I think we'll be ready for it on game day. Stefan and then Rick Bogut. Uh, Taiwan mentioned on Saturday how he's kind of seen you mature as a wide receiver the past couple of years, um, you know, from going up against him in practice. I mean, what have you kind of seen from him when he's defending you in practice, how he's developed over the past couple of years? Oh, well, I mean, just, just knowing Taiwan from day one, just knowing, like, he's really, you know, he's, he's small, but he's really gritty and mean and, you know, physical just for his size. And he's just really progressing as a corner and just, you know, his work, his work shows. All you got to do is just cut the tape on and watch him. All right, looks like Rick's the last one. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, yeah, Ty. Um, almost every player has a chip on their shoulder for some reason. It's something they've been told they can't do that they do do. Was there anything in particular you've been told that you wouldn't be able to do that you've you have done? Um, you know, I mean, people say like, you know, my speed may be a problem, but you know, I feel like you know I've shown it over the past couple of years that I can run and just make plays all over the field at any position. And I'm just trying to get better as each day goes on. All right, thank you, Ty. Thank you. Jumbo, you start us with Stevie.